Good morning. It's a Monday morning. There is no snow in the forecast. Looking at uh, 40, 50 degrees this week. So let's go see how they're doing. So this week we are going to be uh, painting a trailer for a good friend of mine. He also owns a business and uh, he's had this trailer for six, seven years. It's all faded out, looks like crap. So we are going to clean her up, give her a paint job. So step one, just give her a nice hot steam bath. Get all the grease and grime off of it. And as you can see here, this powder coat is just peeling off. I'm sure you guys are familiar with that. It's just a mess. So <clears throat> my plan was to sandblast the whole thing, prime it, paint it, but the owner, he said, just sand the spots that are rusty, scuff the rest and paint it. So I don't know. I haven't really made a decision on what we're doing just yet here, but. I kind of wanted to see what it looked like all cleaned up, see how bad it is. I don't know, like all this, we definitely want to sandblast all that rust. I would just prefer to sandblast the whole trailer, start over fresh, make it, make it right. But I'll probably call him and talk to him, see what he wants to do, see what uh, his budget allows, but this thing's pretty crusty. Uh, the other problem is sandblasting has a hard time getting this powder coat off. A lot of times that sand just bounces right back at you, so we will have to see. All right, he's been pressure washing this trailer for three hours. I think he'd have all the paint off by now. She's a little crusty. Yeah, are they coming off? Yeah, when they're it's warm. So when it's cold, I just been kind of yeah. in some other flaky spots. Okay, a little bit of a mess. Um, yeah. Good thing you got your protective gear on. Yeah. Got a little bit of a mess here. A little bit. There's a sticker. Uh, got my concrete boots on. Yeah. Well, he's got the sandblasting set up here. It uh, just siphons it out of a bucket and then it runs right to the pressure washer and uh, comes out as you're pressure washing right out of this nozzle here. We really don't do a lot of sandblasting. I'd like to buy just a normal sandblaster someday, a big one, but uh, for the stuff we do, this works pretty good. Um, so like on something like this, we're just going to sandblast the spots that are rusty. And then we will uh, take some DAs, hand sand everything, and uh, go from there. So, Alright, they got the trailer all blasted yesterday. So everywhere where there's rust, it's blasted off. Now today they'll take the sanders and start with 80 grit and uh, start sanding away. So we realize that uh, all the powder coat should come off, but again, that's uh, not what this customer wants to do. So 
really as long as we get the rust treated uh, primed and painted it it's gonna be fine for quite a few years so it's not a show car it's just a trailer so let's get to sanding on this today's the day we're gonna paint this trailer so they got it all prepped ready to go they got it in the booth I'm just starting to mix up some primer we're gonna shoot all the bare metal and uh, with some primer kind of blend it out so it evens up so we'll go take a quick walk around the shop just kind of give you guys a little uh, picture of what that looks like how the paint booth is set up and they haven't set this up in over a year so they're a little rusty with it, but uh, we'll get there. So let's go check it out. So these are the original blowers that came with it. We haven't had an issue with them. I kind of figured they'd be junk because they're Chinese, but they seem to be holding up just fine. This is the door where I enter the paint booth. Now, when I bought this paint booth, it had a four foot section and then a whole wall and then another door but we just cut that out so there's no wall inside this so we can get a longer stuff in here and as you can see they got lighting hanging in there that's a big thing you can't paint shit in the dark so so as you can see here the fumes go through these two filters, get sucked out, right out the window. Pretty simple. Keeps the shop nice and clean. They'll drop this door down, and uh, they got the air hose running the side for me. So, and then obviously the clean air gets sucked through this filter. So. This whole system is charged with air, basically, once it's all closed. And uh, the fresh air comes in that filter, and the fumes and everything get sucked out that filter. We've probably used this on, I don't know, I would say probably 10 or 12 painting projects. Um, I really don't have any complaints. The only thing that sucks is usually we paint late in the day that way it can dry overnight the only thing i hate is leaving all these fans on at night so obviously you have to leave the fans on to keep it up and running but i do get a little worried when we go home at night and uh i just worry that i'm gonna come in and the whole thing's falling down on the project that we painted so but we haven't had that yet so. so let's start mixing up some primer. These guys got to pull these wheels off and uh, wipe the whole thing down with wax and grease remover. And we'll be ready to start shooting some primer. So I'll take you around and show you what the trailer looks like right now. They got this all smoothed out so there's not a big transition from the metal to the powder coat. Um, and again, you know, we know the correct way to do this is to get all this powder coat off, but that's not what the customer is looking for. This is just a trailer, so.
boys, it smells like a party in here. And girl, sorry. doing is covering the bare metal wherever we blasted through so you want uh, primer on the bare metal pretty simple but uh, looks pretty good um, I'm glad I went with uh, red oxide primer I was gonna use gray but uh, I figured the red would be a closer uh, match for the base coat which is uh, going to be international red, so won't have much of a change as if you used a lighter primer. So again, this is just a trailer, guys. So I don't need anybody telling me that uh, we're doing something wrong here or whatever. But I'm sure there will be somebody in the comments telling me what I'm doing wrong. Paint booth's working good. There's zero fumes out here in the shop. You know, there's no overspray, nothing. That's what I love about this paint booth. It's gonna take me a while to paint all the red, which I think I'm gonna use my bigger paint, paint gun for that. So I'm not filling it up a hundred times. I sent the other guys to go take down some Christmas lights since it's 50 degrees out. We'll be back. And then we'll start mixing up some red. Peace out. Alright, I'm all done painting the trailer. Totally got my ass kicked on this one. Did not go well. My bigger paint gun that holds I don't know, it probably holds half a gallon. That one broke about 10 minutes into the job. Then I had to use my little paint gun. It did not go worth shit at all. I'm hot, I'm sweaty. It's 86 degrees in here. Whole project went like shit. We'll let this dry and then we're gonna come back in in a couple hours, probably seven o'clock tonight. And we will pull the trailer out of the paint booth let the paint booth down so it's not up all night. Yeah, I'm beat. A lot harder than it looks. And uh, I hate wearing a mask. Oh, and then halfway through it, my mask and strap broke on it, so I had to find a different mask. And just a shitty ordeal. I'm not even gonna go in the paint booth. Some battle happened, but 
I got uh, two very heavy coats on this trailer. I mean, you can't really see it, but. Looks pretty good to me. All right, we'll see you guys probably in the morning. I'll show you what it looks like. Peace out. Tell you what, I slept pretty good last night after sweating in that goddamn paint booth all day. So the guys came last night about seven o'clock and they dropped the paint booth down, which is pretty simple. Just unplug the fans. And then they pulled the trailer out. And this baby's dry. So it's looking pretty good. So today the guys are gonna sand the wheels and then I'm gonna have the guys put new lights and grommets in it and a new emergency brake battery that's bad and this trailer is gonna be ready for another I would say six eight ten years so the Wisconsin uh, salty roads can really eat up a paint job. And I wish most, I wish the trailer manufacturers would use paint because paint's easily, easy to repair. Powder coat, once it starts cracking and flaking and it's such a pain in the ass, but I think this looks pretty good. The customer's gonna be happy. That's all that matters. We're just finishing up this trailer and we moved the track machine around, literally moved it like 20 yards. And the drive motor basically just fell off. So this was outside. It wouldn't move, this track wouldn't move. This whole drive motor basically just went like that. So. This should cost me about $6,000. That's pretty exciting. So, I don't know what's going on. We just stuck $1,500 into it last week. Now it's broke again. I mean, it's just like you can't win. Every time you get a step ahead, you take four steps back and get kicked in the nuts over and over. So, but whatever. We got this trailer done. Just taking it back to the customer now, so turned out good. I'm sure he's gonna be happy. He wanted to change the wheels to black, so that's what we did. I just put the uh, reflective tape on it. We mounted the toolbox back on it. Got her all cleaned up nice. So he's got another one identical to this, so he likes them looking new and nice, so. Uh, we didn't paint the underside of it. It's really actually not that bad underneath there, so. You guys did a good job. The paint went all right. I don't like the way this red trailer looks behind my white truck, but uh, we'll take it up there to him. And uh, see if he's happy. Other than the trailer, everything else is going wrong, so. I really don't want to hold this camera today. I feel like killing somebody, so. Midwest Builders here. Oh, man. Repping the new sweatshirt. It's beautiful. This guy's always got a new sweatshirt on. <laughs> yeah. 
got a trailer all painted up here. Look at this. It's oh. real nice. You come, you come paint that through? <laughs> yep. I sure don't like this powder coat. Why is that? My white tilt bed's the same thing. And that, once that rust gets behind the powder coat, it sucks. But it'll work. Got black wheels to match the boss's truck. Be looking fly. Well, he said he's got another trailer for us to paint here, so we're gonna look at this. He said these fenders need a little, might need a little work. Just spray it thick. Yeah. Right here, spray, it thick spray it thick through there. He says, thick, thick through there. Thick through this one right over here. Yeah, but these this trailer here is probably 15 years old, ain't it? 20 years? This is old. Yeah. yeah. This is one of the first ones, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah. No, our first one this built has the yellow one. Oh, is it? Yeah. Burn up and dance grab. Yeah, but you guys pull these in the winter time. Yeah. Winter time just yeah, kills these trailers. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Yeah, we really don't have a whole lot going on. I got quite a few guys laid off right now. It's, once again, it's a 50 degree day here. And, uh, you know, we had two feet of snow in January, and now it's damn near all melted. So, this is not a good winter. Financially, it sucks, but uh, the good news is we have a lot of jobs lined up for April, so we just got to basically get through one more month and we can get back to work. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, share, all that jazz. See you in the next one.